I'm having so much fun going through my LPs. So I'm just going to keep this coming. So uh, the next on the stack is Duran Duran, the Reflex. So uh, it's a 12 inch single of it and uh, the dance mix, it says. Uh, I, I confess, I enjoyed Duran Duran and uh, I, I enjoyed that song a lot. Never listened to the 12 inch single that much. I'm not a huge fan of uh, uh, the 12 inch singles. I usually just like the pop, you know, short three, four minute songs. I'm not a fan of uh, long drawn out songs. So uh, that's, uh, that's usually true for me from uh, any classic rock to, uh, to Pop City. I, I usually don't like the long songs. Okay, Stairway to Heaven, uh, I get it. But uh, usually the shorter is better with me. Squeeze Frank. I love Squeeze, uh, especially like their older music. I haven't really listened to Frank very much. I'm thinking a lot of these that I haven't listened to much were uh, in the days of Columbia House when you had to buy a certain number. You could get 15 to start with and then you had to buy 10 more over the course of a few years. And I always liked Squeeze, but uh, I, I never really listened to it very much. But I saw them in concert in Omaha last summer. Just an amazing show, so much fun. Glenn Tilbrook still has his voice and uh, Chris Difford, he and uh, Chris Difford are just a great songwriting team. Fun to see them live. They're coming this summer to Kansas City. I hope uh, they still can honor that because I'm really looking forward to seeing them again. Berlin, Count Three, and Pray. Uh, they uh, they were a, a, a cool band in uh, in the mid '80s, and uh, I, uh, I can't even remember the song that uh, uh, is on. Oh, Take My Breath Away is on here. Um, so they had some good rock tunes, and uh, then they did their ballads as well. And uh, uh, Terry Nunn, it seems like I heard she uh, had a solo album uh, recently. But anyway, Berlin, Count Three, and Pray. Van Halen, 5150, Van Hagar, as they were called. Uh, not my favorite album of theirs. I never really got into this too much, but I, I did like um, uh, Why Can't This Be Love. I thought that was a good tune. Um, but I, I really can't name much else from it. This is one I am sure nobody else has heard of because it was a group of guys I was in the seminary with who recorded this called To Give Light. So uh, there were some really talented songwriters and musicians when I was in the seminary in Chicago. And uh, they, uh, they recorded 10 of their songs, I think, uh, 8 to 10 of their songs. And uh, a couple of these I, I still... Um, can imagine singing. Actually, I think So the Word, S-O-W, So the Word, it might be in our gather hymnals, but uh, that was written by uh, uh, one of the guys who lived on my hallway and uh, another guy who was a couple years ahead. So to give light, I still uh, cherish that I have that. Mannheim Steamroller Christmas. This was uh, a huge uh, Christmas sound back in the, the day when this was released. A lot of people uh, listened to Mannheim Steamroller and especially their Christmas album. Some nice classics, good good modern takes on uh, some classic tunes. Jane Syberry, The Speckless Sky. Uh, I really love uh, this album. There's some great pop and rock on here. She's got a beautiful voice and uh, I think she's from Canada. She recently paired up with or, or teamed up with uh, K.D. Lang and um, um, can't remember her name, woman from Chicago, um, who uh, they, they did a Case Lang, Laura Veers. Uh, they did a Case Lang Veers is the name of the group, and they released an album and great tunes. Uh, but uh, Jane Syberry, I love that she's still in the game. Another Simple Minds album. Uh, I listened to this album a lot uh, when it first came out. It's uh, got some great songs on it. Uh, Once Upon a Time, all the things she said, that was the one that I really loved. Um, but uh, uh, Sanctify Yourself, another great song. Uh, Alive and Kicking, great tune. So uh, Jim Kerr has a great voice and uh, always enjoyed that album. I think I had every Van Halen album, uh, Women and Children First. This one uh, has taken a beating over the years. I don't think I even have the sleeve anymore. Nope. But... Uh, uh, 
I, I always enjoyed Van Halen. Some uh, when I was in a, a rock mood, it was always fun to listen. And the Cradle Will Rock, uh, good tune. Uh, lots of uh, lots of uh, typical Van Halen tunes on there. Finally, Dead or Alive, Mad, Bad, and Dangerous to Know. They were one of those MTV bands that I thought, oh, I kind of like that song. So uh, I, I checked it out, and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, kind of dark in some ways. And, uh, but uh, Brand New Lover, that was uh, the, the song that was playing on MTV that made me like it. So uh, it's, uh, again, kind of some dark pop, a little, uh, little edgier than I expected, but uh, a fun lesson all the same. I can still uh, hum along with some of the tunes. So that is the next 10 in the stack.